Well, tonight's event is is a pretty it's a pretty good one and a pretty special one for us. No pun intended with the specials here. Um, it all came about really a few years ago because. Uh, in a, a, an amazing bunch of people, uh, led by a guy called Paul Williams, set up this set up a charity event in England called Specialised. And Specialised is where um, they got bands together to to um, record songs for a particular themed album, and then the money raised by that would then go to Teenage Cancer Trust. And so the first one. Um, hence the name Specialised, was to honour the band The Specials. And um, when they started that, they, they had a whole heap of bands together. It was a UK thing. And then slowly it started creeping in popularity and getting really, really special. Each year um, they selected a band to, to be the one that people did um, covers of. And we came in on the second album. Well, actually, we came in on the first one to help raise money. We, did, we, ran, in a, we ran an Australian event here in um, Brisbane and then from the second album onwards every year we contributed a track as the Fanatics and one of their ambassadors for that was one of the original members of the specials Roddy Byers or Roddy Radiation and he has continued to be an ambassador for that and we have continued to raise money so this year has been the first one where a big Sydney event was organised called Specialised instead of Specialised and that is happening tomorrow night at Marrickville in Sydney. And as a special guest act, um, they've flown out Roddy Byers from England to, to perform at that. And of course he needs a band. And so um, what, what has been wonderful is that we have put our hand up for that. And so he has been flown up to Brisbane to us yesterday and we've been working with him. And so tonight, this is like the warm up breakout gig for us. Where, um, where Roddy will be performing with us and of course um, the Funax will be supporting. Specials are a big influence on a lot of people because of our anti-racist stance and uh, some of the songs uh, appeal to all age groups and like you know the, the kids the kids understand it and enjoy it as well. It doesn't seem to, it's timeless. You know? uh, it's a teenage cancer trust. So I'm doing this uh, without any payments and uh, they they paid my flights and I'm here to entertain people and make a lot of shows for the specials did as well. You know. It's uh, something that uh, we care a lot about, you know. You meet some of these kids, teenagers, and like, they've got, they've got uh, sometimes very little time to live, you know. And it's so terrible that uh, kids in their teens can't have a future. Unfortunately, like the specials never toured Australia in the 80s, I don't know why, but uh, um, it's a good scar scene in Australia, you know, the fun addicts, I'm, playing with tonight a great band and uh, the porkers and you know, there's, there's a long list. Yeah, so it kind of started when I was back in high school. I was um, I was playing trumpet, like I was learning to play trumpet, and kind of ska was the kind of music that I could really get into, like from playing trumpet, because there's not a lot of stuff out there for a trumpet player to really get into, and uh, at a young age, and like ska was that kind of uh, the music that that you know appealed to me. Um, yeah, it's just got you know like it's just got that kind of positive. Well, most of the time, it's got a positive kind of uh, you know danceable kind of beat. It's pretty cheery music. It's pretty catchy. 
Um, yeah, and just coming from that trumpet background, it was just something I could get into. Yeah, so I've been a, I played in a few bands around Brisbane, both on guitar and on trumpet. Um, so I used to play in a band called Suspect Seven um, and King Tide before that um, on trumpet. Um, and then more recently been playing guitar with the Fun Addicts for uh, probably five or six years, something like that. Um, initially on trumpet and then uh, afterwards on guitar. Well, ironically I'm a, I'm a guest here tonight with the Fun Addicts. Um, the normal sax player unavailable so I've stepped in to uh, help out and be, be part of the specialised show. Um, but ironically I go back with the Fun Addicts a long time ago. Um, we, I had a band in Brisbane back in the 80s about the same time as them, so we've crossed paths many a time. I've played with a lot of their players over the years in different bands and, and what have you, so tonight's a good night. Um, it's like that everything's aligned and uh, here I am helping out, which is, um, again, it's a special night uh, with Roddy in town um, and, and what the whole thing's about. The whole thing's about um, trying to raise funds for cancer. So. It's like good music, I'm playing with some old friends and, and it's for a good cause. So how cool is that? That's Fun Addicts, wow. Um, all started at very early 80s. We all had the dreams and and listen to the music of the specials, incidentally. Um, we wanted to get a, a ska band going in Brisbane, you know, it hadn't really been done before. Uh, There's plenty of guys out there that love ska music, but it, was not, it wasn't an overwhelming sort of music genre that everyone was into. Been around for a while, we, I think we went through till about 1990, 91 at the latest. Um, some of us went sideways, had children, you know, different things. Uh, some of us wanted to try and experience life outside music. Uh, don't know if anyone was fully fulfilled, but uh, we're back having a go now, having another crack. How would you describe the Brisbane Star scene? Like, how's it evolved over the last couple of decades? It's always waned. It's always, it's been there, but it's never been huge. You know, Sydney, Melbourne, a little bit bigger. Um, which we did, we did go to Melbourne and Sydney, and we still do. We continue to. Uh, a lot of friends down there that were in the in the other bands, scar bands that were big in the day. I'm a realist. I don't expect it to take off in any great heights. I'd like to see it continue on. Um, part of the reason that I'm still doing it is to show the younger kids a few of the uh, tricks of the trade, if you'd like to call it that. Um, keep the scar music going. It's an original music genre that it's universal it's a universal music you know reggae ska offbeat i can't play rock and roll on drums i have to play ska it's just a natural thing for me <laughs> 